that is in order then just getting all of this set up oh yeah this thing first and foremost okay that's good that should be working fine so welcome back to Bioshock Infinite on YouTube later on or in Twitch straight away so we found the girl I don't remember what her name was exactly was she Elizabeth possibly something like that Elizabeth or something old very close to that Eleanor maybe it was Eleanor nonetheless uh, one or the other may have but um, I don't remember what exactly we uh, were going to be doing next we were stepping into some new location uh, we were of course trying to get to the airship at least before um, yeah don't remember exactly however uh, we at least got the necklace for her already uh, the burnt necklace the one the gauge one and uh, we shall be continuing from where we were left off last time. So let us go in. So let's see. Uh, I don't remember all the <laughs> controls either. Something out of a property. Folks die for their beliefs or kill. Yeah, Elizabeth. I was thinking that shouldn't it be Elizabeth. Was it Eleanor in the Pyshock 2? Maybe. Welcome to the soldier's field is the place we 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 were coming in um, Was it in options that we saw our yeah take us a bit to the first lady airship that is our objective so indeed trying to get into the airship And last time around we shot some people as well which which she didn't like for kind of understandable enough of reasons Hall of Heroes sponsored by shock jockey and everything and hello Jim Jim Welcome to the Twitch stream again. At least I didn't uh, get anywhere yet even either, so... You can be starting out exploring. But yeah, then it just was uh, these skills. Yes. I hope I will be able to have the some more weapons though. That's kind of an interesting thing. Well, just started out, Chim Chim, so I think fine. Uh, I hope you have had a good weekend as well. Closed. She doesn't look happy though. After we shot those people. That's uh, my perception of the things at least. So. And don't probably remember all the buttons correctly. But we'll see. Um, okay. Elizabeth can use lockpicks to open some specific locked doors. Interesting enough. Okay, is there anything... Oh, clip increase to the pistol. Huh. Would I like that? 275 is kind of a lot. But on the other hand, if I actually am meaning to use the pistol in the future, then it wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Sure. Sure. Yes, pistol high. <laughs> clip increase. Yay. Wow. One, one of those. One of, and then he just shut down completely. Okay, I have nothing more to sell to you. I'll just shut down forever. Soldier's Field, built in 1903 by the hand of our prophet. What interest is a prophet having a bunch of carnies and carousels? The place is themed to acquaint children with national service. You mean the military? Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Oh, did you write that? No. Huh. Interesting. Um, I remember all that encouragement Sen had to give you to use the pistol in Bioshock 1. Now you use just headshot everyone with a pistol like a boss. Not everyone, not everyone, but I'll, I'll, I try to be doing my best. I hope Sen will be proud of me at least too. <laughs> As us. But I don't know, this just feels better now but maybe it's also like i said before i haven't actually played fps games for a long long time like if you think about it um last time around i was playing uh was for my youtube series 
Wolfenstein 3D or then World of Tanks and the like. And World of Tanks is still different. It's more of a tactical type of shooting game after all. It's like, sure, you react relatively fast and all. I did start playing a little bit of the one, uh, pla was it Planet Side? But there I usually just like to use the V-Kyles. So, yeah, it's been a long time since I really played any FPS games. Even though, like, they're enjoyable to play and all, but it's not like they are my main genre. Yeah, can't, can't really run and gun with the tank, can't, yeah. It's, it's different, completely different type of a shooting experience. Uh, the, and after all, there's only one actual FPS that I have ever finished in my life. So it's not like FPS is a genre that is my main, main thing to play. It's mostly RPGs or strategy games. <laughs> okay, touch type. Well, you need to do that then. Adjust your posture. Um, but what was it that I was gonna say? Yeah, uh, Red Faction is the one game that I finished back in my youth. I really loved that one back then. I <laughs> keep on missing games. Well, not too serious. Can understand, nonetheless. But yeah, Red Faction. Back in the day, finished Red Faction a long, long time ago. So... <laughs> loved Red Faction too. I actually got a demo of it originally, and I... A master the demo back then and I wanted to get the actual game and I then later on did so yeah but it's the one game that I have finished from the FPS neither did I I didn't play any of the sequels either but I don't remember that any of them were that great so yeah probably well for me ex for example I tried to start playing Oblivion but I had such a bad computer that either First, it didn't even show other than white screen because my <laughs> graphics card was way too bad. And then when I got a better graphics card, then my main computer was so bad that it just simply did not run well at all. Yeah, I really did love Red Faction. Maybe could should uh, try to replay it at some point. It would be fun to see how <laughs> good it would feel now, but at least back then I enjoyed it a lot, so... Uh, first Lady's Aerodrome, a Ferris wheel, Main Street, elevator to Hall of Heroes, Hall of Heroes, <sighs> Soldier's Field map, teaching kids to become very nationalist from the beginning and protect the place, Arcade, Lower Gondola Station and Battleship Bay. Yeah, okay, you missed the uh, Oblivion too because of the lack in the graphics card. But as such, like, maybe I would enjoy Oblivion and Skyrim more if I was able to originally go and start playing Oblivion back then, uh, when I actually wanted to play it. But when I tried to get into it later on, then I was just feeling, well, I guess, disappointed about that. And then just, it just didn't feel as good as uh, Morrowind for kind of obvious reasons. Oblivion is one of those which already kind of needs some mods, almost, I would say, from my point of view, and I don't like when a game needs mods to be good. When I would want it to be already feel good for me before. Well, let's check this out too. A city in the sky, impossible. The great lady of science shows up her wonders. How does that darn thing fly? Rockets? Balloons? Quantum Mecca says the little lady. We say it's more like woman's something. Now the scale in Ruined Oblivion and Morrowind and all the modern Bethesda FPS RPGs, yeah. True. Like, I do prefer games which, I like in Baldur's Gate, they're specific. The enemies are as strong as they are. Uh, no matter when you go into them, rather than they just uh, scale for you. That okay, you can choose wherever to go pretty much then. <laughs> Morrowind, I mean Skyrim. I was thinking that did Morrowind actually have that already? Because I didn't remember it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Oblivion, Skyrim. And as I said, like for me, one of the 
things that took me out of it was that I could teleport to any city after I had visited it. Like, I wanted the same sort of a travel system as in Morrowind. It kept me in the game by going and taking a ship or using the mage skill teleportation or something like that. And they weren't even choices back in Oblivion at all. You had to either fast travel or walk all the way to your destination, which was ridiculous. Why couldn't they keep that other type of a travel system as well? Because I didn't want to use those. I wanted to use a sealed rider or, or boat or teleportation from a mage's guild or my own recall spell, something like that. I didn't want to use fast travel. It took me so out of the immersion of that game. So yeah, I never went far. <laughs> yeah, yeah, jump all the way and max out the acrobatic skill. True, true, that would be one option. By the hand of our prophet in 1903. Yeah, so yeah, my immersion on that game was pretty, pretty darn low. And so I never got far in it. Oh, and of course dungeons. I loved Fumer Ruins back in Morrowind, and I didn't, at least from my short experience, ever get to experience something like that in Oblivion. I tried not to travel in Red Dead Redemption, that was kind of cool. I would actually like to play Red Dead Re Redemption at some point, but... Well, they don't want us to go there, I guess. Kate, shut up tight. Now, how are we gonna get to the airship? Let me see if I can get that gate open by hand. Soon. Soon. My dear Elizabeth, soon. Not quite yet, though. I wanna, I wanna check the other side. Uh, I, I thought that Red Dead Redemption, Redemption even would be kind of a nice game to play, but again, it's on the PlayStation, so I would. I do have PlayStation 3 now, but I, if I would go and start playing it now, I would like to record it too, and uh, I don't have a very good way of recording anything from PlayStation, or I haven't tried it out properly. Hmm. Someone wants to keep people out of that. Could you open it? You probably can, I have quite a few lockpicks here. Well, I just wanted to check that out, nonetheless. Got a lock, needs picking. On it. Thank you. There. Did you enjoy Red Dead? Did it Redemption? <laughs> like I'm not able to say Redemption properly, like at all. Even though it shouldn't be that hard of a. Oh. Catch, Mr. Dewitt. Thank you, I guess. Who couldn't use money? Ooh, confusion. Um, shield. Yeah, shield. Enter. Feel better already. But yeah, uh, I, in general, the fast travel. I can understand why it's in games. Ah, uh, I did, but then my Xbox blew up and I didn't get back to it. Oh. I've never actually had Xbox systems at all. Never played anything on Xbox. I've uh, had PlayStation, or I have PlayStation 3 that can play Garbine. Too many weapons and too little slots to have all those weapons at. Well, I guess I should at least... Requires five picks. Well, I guess we're not gonna be picking that up yet. Hopefully, soon. But not yet, for sure. Hmm. Ah, oh, I think I might have lost the CD too. That's a shame. That's a shame then. Well, let's listen to this. Days at Comstock House was simple. Hard work, sure, but simple. Ringing the linen, scrubbing the floors. <laughs> Lady Comstock, she even had a kind word now and then. Almost enough to make me think I had a place in their world. <laughs> God mm. made foolish girls so he could have something to play with. Seems like a good sniper 
type of weapon. But as such, I might prefer to have at least one close range weapon then. Like having a shotgun or a machine gun if things go really sore and then having my pistol and not the garbine. I would love to take that too, but two little weapons, just two, it's way too little. Well, I guess we should go and try to find some more lockpicks around the place so we can actually lockpick that chest. Or oh, well, safe, nonetheless. Almost the same, almost the same thing. You could try forcing it open. Yes, I was planning on that, Elizabeth. Um, is the pistol long or short trains? A little bit of both, I think. But, like, if there's a lot of enemies coming at me, like, um, in a situation last time when I died, I took the machine gun when there's too, where too many enemies coming too close, then I just need to kill them real fast, and I don't usually, on really, really close range, I don't manage to hit the head with a pistol that quickly, usually. So, in that situation, shotgun would be really lovely. It's just such a shame when I can't have more weapons. Two feels so... <sighs> limiting. Now, oh, let's lift this up. But it, maybe it's like medium range. Who needs the power company? Some fool's alternative to electricity. Doesn't seem to work very well. Maybe it works. Because they just wanted to shut us down from that place. <laughs> Hard choices are the hallmark of good game design, so I heard. Or maybe interesting choices. Well, a little bit of both. But as said, I do feel that two weapons is still very, very limiting. Like, as I said, I would at least like to keep the pistol as something that is like a small gun. So it should be the extra one that automatically you will at least have that. And then you can choose from two other type of little bit bigger weapons. I would prefer that. Nonetheless, like, pistol being one of the choices in the guns as well there seems quite sad to me. Salts. Use a salt machine. Yeah, true, true. I forgot that sidearm should be a separate slot. So yeah, the sidearm is the thing. I, I would like to at least keep the pistol as separate, so to speak. And <laughs> like in PUBG, yeah. There it's uh, like that too, for sure. Haven't still bought that game. Should at some point. There it is. First lady. Looks like it's heading for the dock. That will take us to Paris. Hopefully. Doubt it, to be honest. But hopefully. Just stay close. Yes, Mr. Duet. Call me Booker. Uh, uh, Alright, Booker. Stealing may have consequences. Should we head to the gondola or take a look around the boardwalk? I suppose a place like this might have much we'd find useful. Kind of, uh. Um. Should try the Fortnite Battle Royale, it's free. Uh, yeah, I think I heard that name. But, like, I have friends who still have played the PUBG or play it, so it would be nice to play with some friends. And I do know the concept. I've watched um, PUBG from a few people, and it's fun to watch, but I'm not that good, nonetheless, in the type of games. We are not good citizens of Colombia. The true patriot has nothing to fear from the songbird. <sighs> yes, true patriot. Absolutely nothing to fear. Why are we having our gun like out now too when we are like in this sort of a just public, just with these guys and all that? They don't. M Mind the fact that... Do you know why you were hired to come and get me? I imagine they were interested in meeting you. No doubt for lockpicking lessons. Why you? 
I never even heard of this place before I got here. Huh. I assumed Columbia was common knowledge below. Guess I got a bit behind with current events. So, does most people know about this place then? Hot dogs! Get them hot here! We got dogs for the boys, dogs for the girls, dogs for everyone in between. They're hot, red hot. Dogs for everyone in between. Colombian ice cream is a culinary marvel. I'll take this. Try it yourself. Well, I'll, I'll I'll think about it. And when I came to Washington, there were few in Congress who saw my vision for Colombia. But it is the burden of the prophet to bring the wicked to some sort of. I'm a uh, independent contractor. Used to work for the Pinkertons and such. Not something you'd want gracing a resume. Pinkertons? Why did Weren't you... Weren't they the ones they'd call in to settle things when the workers took to striking? <sighs> settle. Oh, that's a word for it. That's like even... Except no low-quality foreign-made <laughs> substitutes. Good, good. But, like, that's even worse in a sense. Like, she even started to talk to me while the lock was trying to, like, play out. Like... <laughs> Yeah, Haley is no interrupting a man while he's listening to his stories. And I guess you're right, uh, they do keep their ammo on the balcony and all that, so I guess they don't really mind, but still. Like before, we always holster the weapon. Sons of Columbia enlist help Duke fight back to the foreign hordes. Join the Comstock cadets uh, today. So, Mr. DeWitt, is there a woman in your life? There was. She died. How? Giving birth. Oh. You have a child? No. Was the child still, like, ours, I assume? But the child also just didn't then survive? But that has to be Anna then, but... For Anna? Like, we are doing this for her. The someone. Like, you may think about the dream sequence, but if she is already dead, then she isn't someone we can really get back. Unless they are trying to sell us something like that. Uh, Sons of Columbia sign up, help to protect the skies, join the junior flying squad today. Fried skin and gold cigarettes. Superior quality, thin with single scoop of lazy lemon. Don't really need anything though. Yeah, I'm I wasn't planning on stealing. At least there's now the red. Like telling me no, we're stealing. We weren't Not before though. Behind the counter, sir. I just wanted to see what you have up here. Nothing more. Nothing that bad. I can search the trash canister though. This look like more nineteen forties prices. I guess the prices in Colombia were ahead of their time so to speak all right lock picks we need lock picks oh really if we don't watch out we're gonna find ourselves in a kind of trouble you've never imagined uh, from the bellhops and skull remains oh edward you've really got to put that feverish imagination of yours to good use <laughs> <laughs> Beaver's imagination and yeah, what are you gonna do, ice cream boy? Hello. Hello boys. Oh what? You wanted to look into those two? Yeah? Hey. Do you go a dimwit? Visit the First Lady's Airdrome. Ah. The bird. I would like to buy that. I could have a souvenir about the beast that we're gonna be encountering, I'm sure. Um... Hmm, for all her interrupting, she's one of the best sidekicks I'd ever had in a computer game. Is she better in your opinion than the one in Half-Life 2? Don't remember her name, but I watched 
that uh, game completely. I didn't play Half-Life 2, even though it was a good game, but... But... Why would I eat that? Value! Get your cotton candy here! Cotton candy. I should buy one for Elizabeth. But I have liked her thus far, for sure. Uh, don't know which way I need to go and which way is something I just would like to go otherwise. <sighs> Wanna hold on to this? Take Thanks. Long, long trail. But yeah, I assume at least that you have played the... Hmm, Alex, don't really remember. I don't think she was quite as active as Liz is giving you loot and stuff. Yeah, I get uh, Not in that way, no. But, uh, and she wasn't always around. I don't know if uh, Elizabeth is almost all the time with us, but... I cannot, I cannot afford... You see a lot pick? Did you say that? She does seem to be commenting quite a lot about the stuff like this as well. Like, um, pointing you out that, hey, there's a lock pick here, there's uh, some coins here for you and all that, so... Nothing in that, though. Unless we got a lock pick, but we need at least three more lock picks before we can get into that safe. I would like to be able to get into. So. Hmm. I don't want to just accidentally then go forward before we would be able to get get the lockpicks though. It's just a weird thing when these things are like floating up and down though. So is this like a library? I guess. Don't see any text. And there's lots of books. People sitting and reading and everything of like. Oh. Uh, the Patriots brought both by Twinwick and Duke. Or in that thing. Are you interested those. in gardening, Mr. DeWitt? They frown on gardens in my part of town. And where is that? The part with no gardens. Surprising. But there is a cash register here for some reason. Nothing in it, but there is. Oh, that's a funny looking tank. Tanks and birds in the tanks. Yes. Uh, Patrick's Bright Confections, PP. Hello. You have big hands. Well, I just would like to find the lock picks. Um. Come see the future of power at the Hall of Heroes, runs exclusively on Fink Industry Shock Chucky. Yeah, Musk guy didn't look very happy. No, he didn't. I think there's a lockpick over there. Where? I don't even see where you are. I'm, like trying to do you mean all the way over here? Hmm. What? It's just imagining you on a carousel. Me on a carousel. That would be a sight. And yes, mascot guy as the big guy with hands. Yes, I, I knew what you were meaning. <laughs> you must be this tall to ride. Well, unless we can ride. Ernest Eagle says. The eagle has a name too. Oh, let's go and visit here. Hello. Hello yourself. Keep your hands where I can see them. 
Totally will. Didn't you already say hi, Elizabeth? To that guy? Ah, I see you found our best seller. <laughs> Shirley Shopkeep, yes. Your best selling is that that lovely bird that I'm sure we're gonna be meeting better again later on. Yeah, no. No need for me to be starting to steal. That's a big big one. Some guns. Beauty in a it. guard. She's lever action, but that lever sure works smooth. This one? Steel heater replica. It's just a replica. Working heater replica. Hmm. It's just for showing here or something. This I cannot even pick up if I would want to. I am kind of interested in to knowing like how would this set work, but it kind of looks a little bit like our shotgun, so maybe it's just a little bit better shotgun possibly. Could be. I can't steal when it's marketed as being stealing, but I can't also buy it quite clearly because I can't discuss about it. But I guess that's our moral choice. Not gonna be starting to steal, steal it even if I'm interested in knowing. Besides, there's so few things that we can actually use as weapons, anyways. Like there's just uh, two weapons that we can hold. So. so you gave it to me. I promise. I never smoked one before. They smoke them if you got them, pal. I ain't no gendarme. No. Thank you, sir. Yes, smoke all you want if you wish. I think it's like the fire maker. Oh, so the shots would have uh, have uh, fire in them, you mean? I assume. But this place does look pretty. All just floating up in the skies. There's the Paris wheel. Uh, we probably are gonna visit there at some point. I, I, I could assume. And there's that thing. Wish we can find a couple of more lockpicks though. Can we see anywhere how many lockpicks we actually have at this point? So, like, I... Or do I have to just remember that, okay, I have this many... Machine gun seems to have an upgrade. Apparently. Increases machine gun damage by 35%. I haven't put anything into it though, so it's kind of a interesting that actually that has already an upgrade. Uh, yeah, heater would be here separately, a separate category for it. It would be a good gun, clearly. Uh, I need at least five lockpicks, but do I already have five lockpicks? Um, and increase pistol damage by 35 and then clip increase by 50%. Righty. And here I do have this this one adds ability to possess humans who suicide when the effect expires. I would especially like to have better on the in the the crow thing because I did like that clearly. Well, I guess we can try to go and see if I even have five. But I thought that I would at least need one more lockpick before I could open it up. I was thinking that maybe we only have three at the moment. But maybe we have four. I don't think we have five yet, though. I don't think so. Hmm, pretty sure I got five. Okay. We need to summon the gondola if we intend to reach that airship. These seem to be the controls that summon her. Yeah, but not yet. Not yet. We need to go and check if I can open that one thing because I doubt we can come back when we go and leave into that direction. Highly doubt that. Mm, you could be crazy, you could also not be crazy, but we'll see, we'll see. We shall see. Time's coming, she says. Sweet bird of the light, get your cat and candy. Hmm. Oh, oh, what's that? Hey, you go, little miss. 
I was thinking that I would like to get you cotton candy from here when I already knew that you liked it. And you got one again free here, so perfect. Ah. Uh, what's been written here? A righteous wind is coming. Ah. Uh, someone been advertising such a thing or wrote here. Have you ever 100% completed game, Kide? Um. Like, I'm trying to think what could be a game that I would have 100% completed. Doubt there's a lot. Like, of course, depends a little bit what is considered 100%, like, and which games we are talking about. Like, back in the day, there weren't exactly achievements of uh, completing a game. Uh, in that way 100% so what would 100% mean for example in red faction exploring all the areas then yes clearing all the enemies and killing the boss then yes then it would be 100% completion but then there's uh, the games with all sort of different side quests and the like and of course, nowadays, it's uh, a lot of games actually have different type of achievements, and you could only consider a game 100% completed if you have actually completed all the achievements. Which, in some cases, is quite a lot more different. Yeah, I guess I'm asking if you ever chase 100% completion stat in a game which had it. Not exactly, however, in like, uh, for example, the one MMO game that I actually have now then played, the Guild Force 2, there I do like to do a lot of the different type of achievements, for one reason or another, so in that sense I like to complete different type of achievements, but in a lot of games I don't chase those things. There, it's a very specific type of games where I'm interested in them. Yes, the miss got the cotton candy already though. So yeah, we went all the way around. I'm just like trying to think about some of the other games, but as sus, I haven't played that many games that like... Uh, on my own, because I usually have now then on single player game experiences, I've more concentrated on actually playing them for let's plays and stuff. So I haven't actually concentrated that much in completion in uh, then other games, because I haven't played that many of the single player game experiences. It's kind of a, also in a sense a little bit of a problem sometimes because um, I have not played as many games I would be playing or I'm sure I would have played already Pillars of Eternity through and sus if I wouldn't want to be playing them blind <laughs> so it's kind of like I would have probably played this already so much further if uh, like I wouldn't be doing a let's play of it or wanting to do a let's play completely the only one I really remember chasing 100% in was Sleeping Dogs loved hanging out in the Hong Kong so much and uh Exploring the extra content. Mm. Never played that game. I remember what it looked uh, like, but no, I have never played it. Can you get this open? Okay, oh, did have five. Thank you. Let's see what's in it. All done. Let's see. Just 217 coins. Well, I guess I'll take it. It's not quite that great. Well, thank Catch, you. Mr. DeWitt. Perfect timing. <laughs> team Team Memory Win. Apparently so. We indeed did have five. But yeah, on the other hand, I didn't keep... We tell them we got lost looking for the bathroom. And that works. Not usually, no. <laughs> not usually, no. Well, we're we're through that now. Uh, was there a shop where I could upgrade my crow ability? I think there was, but I'm just thinking like it was on this side. I think where we're going next. Uh. 
I would be interested in trying out that heater model, but I just can't justify going and stealing it. So we'll we'll leave it be. We shall leave it be. But yeah, I like to do achievements. I guess in an MMO, it's kind of like also a sort of a thing that you're not. It's something that there's so many other people doing them and you actually see and you can do them with other people and all that type of stuff. So it's kind of a different type of situation to do achievements in than uh, just a single player game experience. Hmm. You'll surely get it at some other point. Sure, sure. I'll just think that it was around here so I'll go and check into here. But if it's not here, then, then I'll let it be. But I think there was uh, one around here. Yes, there was. Um, but this was just this sort of a shop. It's like, <laughs> there's so many of these different type of shops that uh, one can't be sure which one is which. But it might have been here. There is one here. Would we want it? I should... No, it's still a little bit too expensive. I could afford this if I want it. But I don't really want it, so grow will cost more. So that's fine then. Let's go and head out to the aerodrome next up. A can't go straight from there, so I guess we'll go to Do can dimwit. You know. Remember boys and girls, don't be a dimwit. How could you not know that? Must be something particular to Columbia. Oh, I loved those stories when I was a kid. But they are a, uh, they are a bit off-putting. Hmm. So it seems, yes. Okay, well, let's uh try to get a ride, I guess. Looks like this runs exclusively on shock jock. Of course it does. Where in the hell are we gonna find that? Look! Come see the future of power at the Hall of Heroes. Huh. Well, that's convenient. At the Hall of the Heroes. Hall Shepherd is loose in the streets of our fair city. Will you suffer the shame of allowing your wives and your daughters to fall prey to his machinations? Or will you act? Act for your women folk. Act for your prophet. Act. Act. How convenient, yes. Kind of could have expected that, but oh well. So, the Hall of Heroes. Here. I was just uh, outside of this place, just Don't a moment. I like, was thinking, where are those all enemies? And I wasn't sure, so I didn't shoot. Your shield is broken. Yes, I know. Let's reload quickly. He just went and uh, crouched. Was there someone somewhere else? Don't see him, at least if there was supposedly someone else. One more from there, then this guy is at least left. You're out of ammo or out of me. Well, okay, there is one. Where else is someone? No, no, no. Ah, there. Well, vicar time. Yeah, apparently not vicar time though. <laughs> Remember, you have to use your vicar as the game is saying to me too. Uh, well. 
Oh, well, whatever. Uh, how convenient. Sign right next to the place where you need it. <laughs> okay, my Chris, yes. Well, I didn't... I, it seemed to go okay, nonetheless. So, as sus. Nothing. Never anything. Yay, Silver Eagle. Not a lockbox. I could be replacing a gun to get a machine gun again, but... I kinda just was concentrating in trying to do it with the pistol and then I just completely uh, uh, didn't forgot that actually I could have used the Vicar again. Game has no fate in your pistol headshooting abilities, yeah. It, it apparently doesn't. I guess, I guess I can understand why. Hall of Heroes closed until further notice. Then there won't be a line to get in. True, true. Let's go. Back in Brando's and thing like that. Uh, okay. Yeah, I just think you should mix it up sometimes. I do agree. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Is something wrong? Oh, nothing I can't fix. Sing praise to the songbird for he is the protector of the lab. Maybe Re this thing moving again. Looks very good considering uh, considering the lightning and all. Looks quite quite good. Well, let's investigate any house. A D. B, I, I hate these things. Oh, geez, just <laughs> kill it. No, it'll sting me. Elizabeth. I have a better idea. <laughs> Wait, wh what are you doing? Opening a tear. Oh, shit. What is that? It's a tear. I used to open them all the time in my tower. What is a tear? It's like a, a, a window. A window to another world. Most of the time they're dull as dishwater. A different colored towel or tea instead of coffee. But sometimes, sometimes I see something amazing, and I pull it through. There. Good God. I don't suppose you've got an airship in there? I don't think so. But there is... There... There is something. I... Bro. <gasps> Songbird. Oh no! Close it. I, I'm trying! Close it! <gasps> yeah, I was thinking it's, it's so us. I don't really understand what I just saw back there. But it sure as hell looks like a shortcut to getting us killed. But I could help. I can handle whatever comes along. Trust me. Have it your way, I suppose. Well, the songbird at least seems to be able to find your uh, things quite easily, so that is a little bit of a problem. And uh, just use class or something, break space and time to let out a bee. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, well, she it has been using it, so, yeah, and to be honest, I wouldn't want to be killing a bee, so I can understand her, it's a lot nicer to be able to open the window and let the bee just fly out into freedom and all that, so, I would agree on her on that, though, and when you can just do as an ability, then why not, so to speak, so, I sort of agree with Elizabeth, though, I sort of do, some ammo trash to the sky Comstock bent his knee and saw with holy prophecy an Eden floating in the mist by man forsworn by heaven kissed by heaven kiss. Oh. What O? Oh. What are you owing about? Shotgun ammo, fool. Everything is always fool. Why must everything be fool? No? Oh. Hmm. 
And if those doors open up uh, just a little time ago, I'm not sure. That seems a little bit of a broken machine. Um... <laughs> I guess I just assumed there'd be consequences for messing up with the physical laws of the universe. No foreshadowing. I, I can't believe that, but can you blame her for not thinking that? Considering it's just like, it's so natural for her. So, yeah. It's natural for her, so it's quite understandable. Quite understandable. Oh. Irresistible charm. Yes, I'm sure that will, that will, like, go really well when you just use possession, like, everyone just goes and starts using possession on whoever they would like to be having some, some stuff with, I'm sure. <laughs> Sniff. He used the shotgun. And it hurt. Machine gun. Shotgun, machine gun, anyways. Whoa, awkward guys. Yeah, apparently. But why were they even in here? Do they really need security when there's no one supposed to be in here almost? Oh well. Salt. Who needs salt? Look! Think industry. Seems like they're the ones responsible for this shock jockey product. They should be ashamed of themselves. Hmm. Maybe they had wanted some privacy. Grab that lockpick. Where exactly? Okay, I there. Found some money. Want it? Thank you. Wait. What? Thanks. What are you saying, Jim Jim? Wait for what? But it's kind of interesting that they have come into here. <laughs> so they advise the position in the men's and the shock in the ladies. That's kind of interesting, to be honest. That is kind of very interesting, to be honest. Actually. You have a point there. Well, as soon as it is the latest picture, you have to be charming the ladies, so I guess it's understandable. However, I would assume that all the ladies know of its existence too, though. So, like, if you start to actually start liking someone that you didn't like at all before, wouldn't you start thinking that, like, what's going on? Has something been done, actually, to make me start to feel like this? I don't know. I don't know about that. Hmm. <laughs> Self-defense shock wicker. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. That's an employee's only place. It's locked. Keep a lookout. Totally will. What's All this yours. saying? Um Righteous wind is a coming a uh, righteous wind. Right. More salt that I very much do not need. Shot chucky. Uh, I hate those two rats. You never expect them. Especially in this sort of a place. I very much... I know I could have used my Vicar, but I don't know if the Vicar is that good against that thing other than maybe possession, but like, otherwise... I don't think it's that good. Maybe if I had my... Um, um, what was it? Heat the fire Vicar on, but I didn't have it anyways. Foxbone, let's listen. I served two score years of soldiering, and every heathen land I've known has less people for my passing. I hated no special enemy. Until now. Gear is special clothing that grants you unique abilities. You can only wear four pieces at a time, once per type. Manage your gear from gameplay menu. Yes. 
<laughs> It'd be a waste of the codes if you don't use them. It took the programmer's month to program them. True, true. Okay, new balance, urgent care. Decrease shield resource delay by one second, increase shield resource rate by two. Killing a weaker trap. Killing with a weaker trap. Chance to cause the enemy gun to become coastal ally for a few seconds. That's a very interesting, like, trap as sauce, but it's not like I have even traps of the crow type yet, or do I? I guess I was able to use it as a trap too, but I haven't used a lot of traps. So let's equip this. I'm stuck. He's made a vaudeville travesty of my battles and cast himself as the White Knight. I called him out over it and he stripped me of my rank. That man has never seen the savage face of war. He will. And I'm planning to use them, but like, especially when it's just a torrent, mm. there's no point using it in my opinion. If there was more than just one torrent, then sure, but it's just a torrent. Who needs, who needs to be worrying about that? All sort of foods. I knew it. I need at least something like four more lockpicks then. To be able to open that thing. I think. Something like that. Hmm. Well, I guess try to find more lockpicks. So, this was the entrance. Or... Okay, there's just uh, this is the way to go. There was just like uh, two of these uh, boat on both sides. Some for some reason this has even fallen. This has gone into a little bit of a disrepair. This place quite clearly, quite interesting. Maybe that's the reason that they don't want people to come into here when it's in this condition. Fucking Bronco. This was the thing that I was able to buy back in the day, if I would have wanted to. What does it do exactly? Press to launch your enemies into the air. Hold and release to create an eruptive trap. Okay, right mouse to launch enemies into the air, hold and release, right mouse to leave a pocket prone strap. Airborne enemies take more damage. Quite understandable. Um, I definitely don't want to replace the crow one though. Like, maybe the position I can think of replacing. But, uh, not that one. So, how do I change what I have active? Uh, chain stuff? No. <sighs> okay, this way, good. Good, good. Now I'm... Like, if I just uh, hold the queue, I can chase what I have in there. Okay, and I can see from how much salt I have, how many times I could be cast in a specific thing. I can cast this seven times, six times, eight times, and just the five times on that. And let's try that as a second one, I guess. I prefer the crow thus far, though. I think as an idea. Amusing. When we strike, we will teach Cornelius Slate a lesson. Now, I know you've all come to think of Slade as some kind of war hero. But let me be abundantly clear. Cornelius Slate is no hero. Ah, he's been down in Frankton so long that the man has gone native. <laughs> Slate had his way to go to the bridge. It's him. I didn't wanna- I wanted to try to do a trap. 
but it didn't do a trap. <laughs> oh well. Well, there went all the salt. But, well, didn't know how it would work. Got that one. Then there's one over there. <sighs> I'm actually running a low on the pistol ammo now. So in that sense, I may need to be changing a weapon at some point when I'm actually running out of some specific type of weapon ammo. Which is kind of surprising in a sense, not actually running out of it. Any last words? Get into cover. Like, I'm trying to think which point this exactly shoots when I'm aiming like this anyways. Which I'm not 100% sure all the time. Yeah, it's like the top there. Or at least trying to shoot into the top. Yes, yes, I know how to change weapons. Where is the guy? I kind of prefer you coming close, sir. I have easier time hitting you then. Twenty-six bullets. Where is the enemy? Uh, I hate that there's that thing. I I got like blocked into that. Okay. A second thought. I think those tears of yours might come in handy next time we're in a scrape. Well, there has to be a tear around for me to use. I can't just pull them out of thin air. You can't? Well, we do need to take care of that thing still. I guess I could pick up this just for a moment and you should to shoot that down. What's that? Slate? I actually know the fella. Seems he's still got a knack for making it. No, this was pretty efficient though. I kind of like the use of it. Maybe I should then pick up this rather and leave the shotgun though. Shotgun was very good for the crow. Huh. Of course I could just leave the pistol, but I don't want to leave the pistol. <sighs> I think like this. I like the shotgun too though. Maybe I should leave the pistol now, considering I don't have enough ammo for it. <sighs> I really wouldn't want to, but maybe that would be the smarter choice, considering not that much ammo even for the shotgun. And then I did like this now that I used it a little bit on that, there, for sure. I do prefer this over the machine gun though, even though I do have plenty of ammo for the machine gun on the other hand. So, I, I guess I'm not sure. What should I do? What should I use? Any opinion, Jim Jim? Should I truly go and leave the... Um, the, the, the pistol behind? Truly. But that was a bigger fight. It went pretty well. But uh, it's basically because I can just go into cover anyways. When they don't try to come and properly approach me. So... 
it's pretty easy to be dealing with them at that time, but I do like the pros. Because of what's going on with that man's sleep. I'm just oh, worried that there might not be. Above us. We just need to find a way to yeah. clear up that cargo first. I just really, really, really would wish that I could use the pistol as a or have it as a sidearm as said. It feels so stupid that it replaces one of these weapons. But yeah, like I have to use a lot of that. I think like something at least I shouldn't have shotgun as a secondary then, because of the very fact that uh, it's just, it can't hold that much ammo to begin with, and it's a very close range weapon, which is a kind of a problem. I did definitely this at least against that crow man was very good. Yeah, the Bronco would have been a close range, but I didn't know about it. I said I tried to do a trap, but apparently I can't do Bronco trap. So that's kind of a shame. I wanted to hear them out, listen to them speak completely, and put a Bronco trap, try to get them to attack me, and then it would have gone up. But the trap didn't work out. <laughs> I don't know if I did it somehow incorrectly then or something, but... Definitely did not work out the way I would have liked it to work out, so... A shame. Let's uh, look into these places anyways. Wanna hold on to this? Here you go. Appreciate it. Why are these guys here dead? Well, they are black skins, so I guess they were workers here, and for some reason they were attacked and killed. And I'm not quite sure why. Bronco only caused a little salt, true. Wait, why are these people dead? Yes, that's that's what I'm wondering. Why is this... Like, why was this place closed? What was going on around in this place when they even had closed this to begin with? And, uh... Then there's actually a hook there that I should be able to grab. There's probably something upstairs. Like, why was this electric area, like, closed off? Why is there just a guard alive in here? Why are these people killed? I just started looting them like normal first, though. Well, I can still loot them, though. But there's loads of these black people killed here. I guess they were the servants, and maybe they had not acted like they were supposed to anymore or something. I, I don't know. There's a lot of them in here. Well, there's a white guy, too. <laughs> the dead have no reason for loot. No, no, they don't. Another machine guns. Loads of machine guns over here. I don't even know what I picked up there. Exactly some ammo, I guess. Well. There's an army guy. Also killed for some reason. And some text that I certainly Cipher. cannot read. Do you know Look, what it says? Cipher. A secret message from the Vox Populi. Well, you're the junior codebreaker. What's it say? Don't know. There should be a code book somewhere. Hmm. F optional. Find the cipher. Elsa can describe ciphers that hide secrets, books, public compartments. Find the cipher and its corresponding code book to uncover hidden treasures. Interesting. There, the resistance, I believe. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe that means that there's something secret hidden there, though. You don't need to be used. Like, cannon? Like that? Let's at least keep an eye on that. Need money? Oh, thank Pass. you. Again. Great. Yeah, that's no random texture. That's a glue. Eee. Eee. Wouldn't want to come and visit in this bathroom. Certainly. Eesh. Ok, 
Okay, well, let's keep an eye on that cannon, clearly. Not sure where it is, but we'll see, we'll see. Lots of people killed. I think you should see this. You mean this thing? Or something else? Got a tip there were contraband guns hidden in the fellow traveler. Didn't find them, but funny thing. We found some old uniforms under the floorboards from the war. <laughs> Took guesses as to why they were there, but... Who's there? You're Slate, right? Sir? Put the guns down! Ah! Did you hear that, Comstock? That is the sound you have never heard. The sound of a soldier's end. Come to your hall of heroes. Prove me a liar. Alright. But yeah, this is a... I like hey, this. Don't point that at me. I didn't point it at you. I was pointing it in the distance. Not to you. Don't be silly. I wasn't pointing it at you. But yeah, she knows me well already. Definitely. Okay, so where's a cannon like that? Is the question. <laughs> I appreciate the lady who appreciates value. The pistol. Don't see a cannon straight away in here, which would have been preferable in a sense. Well, here's a cannon. Here's the thing. Yep. Found something. It's the code book, all right. Optionally, use the cyber to crack the box code. Let's go. Let's crack it up. Open and all that. Uh, from here. Into the bathroom. Hey, looks simple enough. Tip the hat to the Vox. Well, there must be more to this place than meets the eye. Tip the hat to the Vox. Tip the hat. Like, if there's some uh, one holding a hat out, maybe we should try to put a coin into it or something so that maybe that would open some secret up. Maybe. Hmm. Well, gotta have a look. Look around. If we can find something like that. Was that the... Yeah, this was the place, direction where we came from. We loot that, though. So, let's have a look into that. Found some money. No, oh, thank you Cash. again. You do find a lot of money. Mm. A lot of extra money, that is. Yeah, can't go there. Totally fine. So, tip the hat. Good question where exactly that would be supposedly at. By the way, will all of my pistols be golden or is it just that special pistol that will be golden? Uh, I think it looks golden. Pretty well, anywho's. Tip the hat. I guess that's just a clock, but it's a very loud clock. Yay, lockpick. Third lockpick seems to be... How do we exactly loot uh, the table from here is a kind of a good question, considering like... Uh, it's uh, the... the <laughs> where they're supposed to be is quite on the other side, but... Wasn't there a hat stand in the men's toilet in the bar? Might be, actually. If there was, then of course that that would seem like the logical answer to that. Do you have to be keeping an eye on something like that? Definitely was meaning to try to look at everything any hose before going and proceeding. Don't see in here if you meant this place. Um, there's a hat stat, yeah. 
well, it wasn't exactly in the men's bedroom, but bathroom, but magical video game arms. But yes, here, here is a hat. Tip of the hat. Indeed. Well, interesting. Well, better look into here. Thanks for pointing that out. That's a uh, glowing eyes, just a teeny tiny bit. Because it's like quite obvious it's that. Foolish. What is foolish? Look at this. Yeah, but I'm not exactly sure what you are meaning by look at this. Though. The Vox Populi reclaimed his place. Yes. We were killing quite a few in the in the games early on. What the Vox Populi is. But yeah. Probably would have come. Fitzroy. I've read about her. Books say she's out to tear Columbia from the sky. Everybody's got a dream. Hmm. But yeah, would have probably come and tried to look into there again, but Grab was thinking of pick. We might need it later. Look into another direction first. Daisy, Vitzeroy, here's your voice. Join the Fox Populi. Okay, so listen. The one thing people need to learn <laughs> is that fear is the antidote to fear. I don't want to be a part of their world. I don't want to be a part of their culture, their politics, their people. The sun is setting on their world, and soon enough, all they gonna see is the dark. Is the dark. Well, yeah, at least Liz isn't telling me to, to use my vickers and change weapons and all that. Always interrupting. Yes. Sort of. I kind of, like, I like her pointing out some stuff, but she does point out a lot of stuff, like, yes, 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 I was getting into that, I'm just investigating slowly and all that, but uh, you don't have to point out to me that, hey, there's a lot, because I was just looking into that direction soon, you've seen everything so much earlier than I do, but, oh well, it's uh, hard to hit the sweet spot, especially for everyone, after all, any who's. Coin is in the cushion. Achievement unlocked. Um, hmm. Let's take some salt for a change. RPG ammo. RPG. What's this then like? Well. I kind of expected that, but just wanted to test it out. This would be good too for a long range, but it just has a very few ammo. So I definitely still prefer this one over that, but would I want shotgun or the RPG? I don't know. I think maybe she's used to less attentive companions. Yes, I, I, I do kind of think that that's the case. <laughs> Uh, I wonder though. Like that would be perfect for destroying some of those turrets. I would love to use it for that, but I would love to have one really good close range combat weapon. Like the shotgun is really nice against those, like that crow before, who is coming close, really nice against him. And I like this as a, now then a little bit of a long range good weapon for a certain at this, so yeah. Hmm. Not sure about this, but I think I will prefer to try these out first. Ah, there's the Froppeton. He is the tyrant put into there. Quite good. I appreciate a lady who appreciates value. Okay. I was trying to pick this up and then she was apparently already trying to say that I'll give you some more money and I press E and I automatically just like pew, take money from her and not actually the coin that I was trying to pick up. Okay, well. She does find a lot of coins though, surely. I guess it's just more or less time-based. It feels less time-based. What a team. <laughs> 
Yeah, truly. Which weapons did you use back in the day in this game, Jim Jim? Do you have any remember what what weapons you would have preferred? There's definitely enemies around here. Hmm. Who's out there? I'll oh. tear your head off! Let's see. Carbine for sure. Probably carbine shotgun. The ammo count on the RPG is just too low. Yeah. Where did the guy go? Or the guys? More? No, no more. The carbine is definitely good too, and the shotgun. They both seem very, very nice. Definitely like them. Just a shame not to have the pistol as option though. Nonetheless. Didn't even use the fucking prongo. I was thinking that if there would be more guys I could use it, but... There were so few, so few of them. Oh well, let's go to the other side and explore that area then, the ticket's place, so to speak. Oh uh, yeah. And I could go and visit in here. She isn't exactly able to follow me, however, but... Well, I wanna see what's up here. Uh, I did a quick Google. There's not even a mod to add it on, in. Hmm. On the front page of the Google. That's really a shame. That's really a shame. Well, it is difficult choices, I'd said, but I would still prefer to be able to, like, otherwise the pistol just is something that I don't feel I can use, which I really wish that I could, but I can't justify using the pistol in this sort of case. Then, when there's just these as a weapon choices, can't go all the way there. Yeah, understandable. Still have to check. Oh. It's just a shame. I would be really wish that I could be using it more. Well, I guess it's something that you can try to use as an option if, like, um, you want even harder gameplay for yourself. But otherwise, otherwise. Fox Bone. God makes all kinds of soldiers, but he only made one Cornelius Slate. My father followed him up San Juan Hill, through the legations in Peking, and as he put it, through hell the order was given. At today's muster, Slate asked me if I was Sergeant Monroe's daughter. I said, yes sir, I am. Slate said, your father always wanted a son. I hope the fool has wisdom enough to recognize his good fortune. As in, he should be happy that he had as good of a daughter, I think. Lockpick. I have five lockpicks. There was a safe in that one location. Uh, in the staff room, so I need to go a little bit back if I want to be opening that up. Uh, tired of waiting, why not visit the fellow traveler above? So that's sort of a place to go and visit in. Cigar shop doesn't seem to have that much interesting in. Is there anything in here? Well, I was able to loot that a little bit, yes. From the other side already. This leads into the upstairs as well. Totally fine. There's a lot less uh, respawning enemies in this game, though. I kind of like it to compared to Bioshock 1 and 2, though it does indeed take this more into just a typical shooter direction in a sense. Um, I guess, though I don't actually know how uh, the respawning enemies are in System Shock 2, I, like, I was thinking that the 
it brings a little bit more horror tense thing feeling type of thing i guess when there's uh, respawning enemies when you have to always keep <sighs> be careful about that i'm not sure exactly hmm. who are the fox populi Uh, malcontents who load our way of custom. Who want what you have, free of labor or familial stuff thing. Join the flying squid, defend Columbia. Um, I feel like it kind of breaks immersion without reinforcements, like they're gone. Well, I guess they've lost the whole of heroes then. Yeah, true. There should be a little bit more. More, I think. Nonetheless, like, there was sometimes a little bit, maybe, too much respawning in the... Yeah, I, I, I do think that you should have gotten some of the profits of the tower thing, certainly. We'll just wait for them to come and slaughter us at the next point then. Yeah, true. Like, I think there was a little bit too much respawning in Bioshock 1 to 2, but there should be some more respawning in this game. I think. Hmm. Silver Eagles. Yes, the monument. Ah, uh, there's a lock too. That's bad. Because I already know where there's a safe. But if I only have exactly five, then I have to choose which one to open, the safe or that door. <sighs> I don't like that. I can boost the carbine. The problem with Paisak 1 was the responding when you had to travel to an area more than once, yeah. Like it was a very constant responding. Increase RPG. Accuracy boost on the machine gun. Sniper rifle damage. I haven't even seen a sniper rifle yet. RPG, the carbine. The carbine is the one that I'm using now, so I could upgrade that. Mm. Had to basically try to break even with each traversal, yeah. I guess I could take this, to be honest. Damage boost for the carbine. I think I would like that. <sighs> like, I'm just thinking, will it be bonbons? Oh, it's even a free sample. Guess we can eat it. Here's some cash. Thanks. Here you go. I'm just like wondering, should we open this door? This also requires three picks. Then it leaves only two left. Um. Uh, but there's that one safe that requires five, and I exactly have five right now. Um, Jim Jim, to go into this room or go and get the safe? Tell me. Tell me which one do we prefer to try to do. I don't know what, what this place would have then. What would the other place? Like, I already partially looted some of that. Like, I'm trying to zoom into there. <laughs> What's that glimmering thing? I have no idea what that is, even is. It's some sort of a present, so... I think I went to the other save and was disappointed. Yeah, and I'm looking like there's something there. That could be pretty good. I think that most people would go for the save. So, like, I was considering it quite, quite a lot too. So I guess we will try this thing. I guess we shall try this thing. Even though, if you take the tree now, you might be ahead of for the next one too. Elizabeth, that won't take but a minute. Thanks. All done. Well, yeah, there's certainly at least some sort of armor gift here, but we'll see. We'll see. We shall see. 
But I guess we're only able to, like, this is basically the only thing that we're gonna be getting from here that is really useful or could be useful. And well, a pack of silver eagles is decent, I guess. Look at the gear. New hat, sheltered, alive. Grants brief invulnerability when gaining health from snacks and health kits. Eh. Melee target is done. As us, it's not like we're gonna get that many melee targets. Hmm. This could be in a situation like we loot somebody and so on and then then we're invulnerable for a moment. I guess we can take it. Like usually the bodies that we loot in the middle of the battle are are something that we can just like loot and uh, they usually have a little bit of health in them. So I guess that can work. Oh. Well, that's that's done nonetheless. Kind of quite a sad that you cannot get everything opened up though if you consider that there's probably no way for us to get the five anymore. At least that's what I assume. Close closed. Everything is closed off. Pull the lever. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah, you got your own too now. Think that keen eye of yours could find some ammunition lying around? I sure could use it when there's trouble. It'll take some scrounging, but I'll do my best. Okay, now we're even asking her to keep an eye on some ammo. The line's clear. Well, it's kind of fun that she has it, uh, this sort of a thing too. Find Shokchuki at the Hall of Heroes. Okay, well, we maybe we'll be able to open that uh, safe when we come back from here. Maybe, we'll see. But, first of all, going this way. To the Hall of Heroes. It's kind of funny that she's traveling with it too. Look at another skyline and press space to jump to it. You really don't think I know that game? You really think that I don't get that? I can reverse, strike, dismount. Why is that still making noise? That's distracting. This isn't making noise, so why is that hook making noise? That statue doesn't have a head. But there's definitely crows flying around. That's a... Uh, quite disrespectful drawings on the statue too, but... I guess the Fox Populi indeed don't like it. Mm, game's all like, hey, looks like you're trying to buy a shock. Would you like help with that? <laughs> yeah. Definitely. RPG ammo. There's another RPG. There's a man that is very dead. Don't need to be doing and pulling that, at least as of yet. There's a little bit of a voice recording here. Veterans! You shed your heart's blood for Colombia! Lost limb and viscera in the godless Orient! Comstock did nothing! And yet, look up! Whose image squats above you even now? At every angle and insult! If the prophet would make a painted whore of our past, what fresh rape does our future hold? Let us now make our stand and fill yonder hall with true heroes! That's a pretty view. Pretty, pretty view in the clouds. This would be a sweet place to visit. For sure. In like real life too. Definitely would miss to visit the city in the in the clouds. Well, 
as long as it wouldn't be quite as well worshiping one girl and keeping her imprisoned and uh, everything that it is here but you know what I mean in in general this this would be a lovely place to go and visit and see sure if it wouldn't be the type it is <laughs> one that wanted for treason and sedition Cornelius Slade who we are just listening to I understand Cornelius is something oh you went to see it it's good that you can rest for a little bit yes a city in the clouds would be nice just not this city any other city but uh What's... Booker, sniper rifle. I was thinking that that's something. Ammo, take it. Take this. Oh, you found me a sniper rifle, even. That's uh, that's a bit different. Well, I guess I can just as well try to go out and try it out then. I just don't know where the enemy exactly was. Especially when it's not shooting anymore. Hmm. Don't hold back, soldier. I think that should be able to see from here somewhere, but... I guess I'm too low on the staircase here to be able to try to see it. From where? There, I guess? No. That's it. Okay, I guess it's there, approximately. Like that's uh, that's where it is. That's fine then. Can't see him though. Again. Like I see glowing stuff. But it's so weird that, like, from time to time, just the shot, and then. I'll see what else I can find. Well, got him now. Looks like we found where your old friend Slade is. Just find that shot, so I can get the hell out of here. Hmm. Very little ammo on this, though. RPG would have been also a choice. I really would love this thing too, but. <sighs> like, I don't know which weapons would be the best, but this, of course, is a really, really good sniper weapon, of course. Well, thanks. Okay, catch. That'll do. <laughs> That's kind of a battle situation of trying to just get something like that. <laughs> Let's try this out. I saw you there. Show yourself. But where are you reloading? There, apparently. One shot, one kill. Let's at least use this a little bit before changing back to the carbine while I can have this. Too close to be the most efficient. I'm not ready. One more. Someone else. One more person to kill with a sniper rifle while I have it. I, I can't see you, so it's very difficult to kill you while I don't see you, my good sir. 
friend, if you want to just like show yourself, I'm sure to try out killing you. Huh? I guess the last one is going to be left unkilled for the moment. Um, nice the music punctuation for the headshots. Hmm. Well, let's go and try to see if we can find this guy who is saying to prove yourself and he himself is hiding away. Ooh, more sniper rifle ammo. I do like the sniper rifle too. Hall of uh, Heroes is Hall of Wars. Yes. And then a Joker type of face and the statue and everything. Real, real great. Some coins. You have quality. So, uh, where are you, dude? Wanna, like, show yourself? There you were. Just trying to hide from sight. Oh, uh, even lost one of its wings, that one, that little statue. So, do you got anything nice to sell? Well, now there's at least some reason to maybe buy ammo. But, I don't know, I like... <sighs> hmm... This is really going to be a difficult choice because I really like the sniper rifle too. But this... It doesn't seem logical that I would be keeping a sniper rifle and a carbine. So, then I would have to take the sniper rifle or the carbine. And then something else. Then maybe maybe sniper rifle with a machine gun or something. I don't know. Or uh, definitely at least not RPG and sniper rifle. That would definitely not be something I would want to work or do. But <sighs> this is definitely difficult choices like what you would like to be able to use. I'm more okay that I have to choose from two abilities what to use. At least I have all of these abilities there as available choices. Yeah, hard mode. RPG and pistol. That would be interesting. Hard mode. <laughs> would take just a pistol and uh, and uh, RPG. That, that would be something. RPG and sniper would be harder, I guess. Yeah. Because there wouldn't be anything... Quick to kill from close range to long range weapons, yes, but nothing for the close range. But I kind of like the carbine. I do like the sniper too, so it's very difficult for me to be choosing choosing between these. Because on the other hand, I also like to keep, be keeping the shotgun. And sniper and the shotgun seems like there's nothing for the medium range. I guess I can just use sniper for everything then, but... <sighs> it doesn't feel like that would be the best choice. You know what I mean? Mm. Because I really like the shotgun though. I want to keep the shotgun. I want to have sniper rifle. I want to be able to have a carbine sniff. I kind of would like it indeed that we would be able to keep a few more weapons. But then quickly choose between just the two weapons. So then you would have to choose, okay, do I want to be keeping here these two weapons or do I want to be keeping these weapons out? And uh, then you uh, could just like out of combat be changing weapons, but like I would like to be able to nonetheless have them as carried. It's not permanent, just switch it up in their field. Yeah, I guess like I did there, but <sighs> it's not like those are dropped all the time after all. Hmm. I just... I just have difficulty choosing. Difficulty choosing for sure. Have you played the Stalker? I haven't uh, played the Stalker, but like I was just thinking that the Stalker is one of those games too, that where you have to choose just two weapons to use, but there it's more like certain weapons are clear upgrades from my point of view. These all seem good weapons but just different like for a different type of playstyle what you would like to be using I 
I definitely would need more ammo from this if I would be taking this though. 